23 and 25 spare walk-in cooler condenser. Ah, what a 60 man that was. 27, 29. Confirming that this compressor is indeed bad, just removed our three terminals. You can see this one had a terminal repair kit. This thing is dead shorted to ground, so if I check it on a terminal and then I check it to ground, 2.3 ohms, 0 0.2 ohms, and 2.4. So that means that. When you put power to this, it just immediately trips the breaker because uh, it's got a internal dead short, which is a pretty serious electrical failure. So, yep, this thing is indeed toast. We're gonna recover the refrigerant and get the new one put in, which is in that box right there. Power is shut off to the system. So we're gonna be replacing the original relay, which is right here, with this new SEPCO relay. And this is a universal potential relay. Here's what it looks like here. Um, the instructions are rather vague. They give us this one wiring diagram uh, for some really basic wiring showing the line voltage coming in on terminal 5. All of these are labeled so we can see SR-2, SR-1, SR-5. So that's start capacitor or start relay, terminal 1, terminal 2, and terminal 5. And then down here it's labeled for the uh, run capacitor 2. Run capacitor 2. So that means they go on the second terminal. And this other one is labeled as start or run capacitor 1. So that's terminal 1. And then this is basically just being used as a wire nut, which is why that's there. So I followed the wiring through and confirmed that yes, that is the correct wiring configuration for this particular setup. And so it is that basically that configuration right there and we finished pumping down the system you can see it's just in a slight vacuum and we're gonna get this thing removed I already took out the four bolts that were holding it down now I think I'm gonna thread this pressure switch off might thread that one off too just because there's a lot of heat and heat can damage them pretty easily both of those things threaded out really easily only regret is that there was a little pressure in the system so it blasted out some oil, but no big deal. Everything's disconnected, just gotta cut the line set. And I'm actually thinking about unbrazing these from there, but we'll see if we do that. So I got a plug brazed on the other compressor right there. Could in theory add a port there, but there's not really any reason to. You've got good ports over there. And then I got that unbrazed, and we're just going to unbraze that one. Just wrap a rag around here so I can lift up on the pipe. Got the new crankcase heater, wires pulled in, and wire nutted to a couple of wires that come right up here and feed off the top of the contactor. That ensures that the oil in this compressor is always warm, therefore uh, eliminating cold starting problems and uh, increasing the life of the compressor. We're going to stick on these little rubbers. They just pop on like that. And they have a bushing to prevent you from over cinching the rubber gasket. These absorb vibration while the unit's running. And then we'll get it bolted down in there. So I got this thing brazed back in and I got our bolts all dropped down in place so I just need to tighten them up. And uh, waiting for these to cool off enough that I can put the, I think they are actually cool enough now. I'm gonna put these pressure switches back on and then we'll put the vacuum pump on. Just really quick, I'm gonna show how this is all set up in here. You can see um, lead number one goes to the R terminal on the compressor and then comes over and goes to our run capacitor which is jumper to our start capacitor, uh, which comes off of number one on our relay. And five comes off of leg number two, which is the C on the compressor. And then the start hooks up to the run capacitor and then is jumpered over onto here. So it, it lets this 
switch into the circuit for just a minute. So our terminal one is hooked up right here. So it's kind of weird because the contactor is technically upside down. But terminal one is here with the blue. And that is where our five comes off for the relay. And then over here we have the terminal two, which comes off of our run capacitor, which is correct. If you look at our uh, diagram there, which is the S terminal. And then our red down here goes up to terminal two, which is right here, where our run capacitor gets its other leg. So. Got it all wired up properly. Just gotta stick the new cover on. Which hopefully it. Oh yeah, it actually fits better than I expected. Down to 29.9. So it's just a matter of letting it vac down and then recharging the system. So I used the deep vacuum method, pulled it down, let it sit, seemed good. Then we added in some refrigerant. So we're at 10 psi here. We're just gonna make sure that all of our Fittings are sound. I soaked them down. Just looking for any signs of bubbling. Now I'm just letting the refrigerant dump into the system. You can see it flying in the sight glass right here. And I'm letting it dump directly into this high side line right here. This is getting a little cold too, but I'm not exactly sure. I think that must be from earlier. See it coming into the system. You can see we've got about two thirds of the charge in. It's slowing down a little bit, but it's still flowing pretty good. So I think we're just gonna let it keep adding into the high side there. But we are pretty close to firing this thing up. This is inside the cooler. You can see this unit runs two evaporators, and uh, really this is mostly just a beer cooler. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. We're going to go ahead and restore power to this thing. I've stopped adding refrigerant. It's just sitting stable in the system. Looks like we got it taken care of. We just gotta add in the remaining refrigerant and then uh, make sure it's cooling inside. But I think this is probably my fastest compressor replacement ever. Um, it's been about two and a half hours since I got here. Maybe getting close to three now. So, pretty quick. So yeah, we're gonna be good to go. Um, pipe coming back is nice and cool. This is nice and warm. Add it in. And the cooler box temperature is coming down, so. That means we got this one taken care of.